What is your will, my master? Hey, what's up, Alex? A uh, quick demo video for you for your brass flagship by KR Sabres uh, that you had me etch in a Dragon Ball Z theme. Um, this was a little bit out of my comfort zone, but you had a lot of ideas that you threw at me, so we were able to get this done. I felt pretty comfortable with it, and um, you know, hopefully you like how it turned out. It's not gonna pick up very well on camera, the th different things that I did, um, but you've seen the pictures up close in person, right? Because I've, I've pretty much communicated with you throughout the entire process. Um, it does say, it's over 9,000 over here on the uh, bottom ring here next to the switch. And then you gave me that main dragon um, idea for the handle that came out really well. So I did a kind of a negative etch on that because I wanted most of the handle to be brass, uh, uh, just the normal brass and then etched in the dragon, right? And then we kind of like bounced back and forth between an etch and a negative etch um, to just kind of even it out. So there's equal, parts there's a little well, there's a little bit more brass on here than etch uh, but i think it looks really good and then um, got the ball on here for the pommel you wanted the one with the four stars so that it's got that on every bump out the one with the four stars um you've got cc sabers in here for your main pcb your lit pcb this is a two button setup so your main switch right here is your activation and then 180 degrees from that you'll find this small brass tactile switch um, you can hardly see it. it. It's barely protruding out, but it's very easy to hit with your finger right there. That's your auxiliary. Um, I got all the sound fonts on here that you sent my way. And we'll go over those here in a second. Uh, but to get to everything, you just unscrew the handle. Um, I did kind of make uh, just a bit of a custom chassis for this. So I hope you like the way it turned out. It says Dragon Ball Z over here. I did uh, give it a bit of a copper color. Uh, 28 millimeter smuggles outpost. Uh, this is this is an elite speaker, and then you've got that piece right here. And then I always put uh, solo sabers over here on all my chassis. And then you've got a removable battery setup, right? So spring side over here. Um, there is a copy of your config file on your SD card in case you ever need to get to it. This board is adhesed down, but it's adhesed in a way where you can get to the SD card and not and not ever move the board. Right, you can pull it out right here with a pair of tweezers, put it back in, and then when, if you ever want to program this guy, uh, you need to have a data cable like this. Right, it's a 90 degree data cable, so you can come in here and click right into your board just like that. Um, if you have a straight one, that's not going to work. Right, so you need that 90 degree one. Uh, they sell these on Amazon for like eight or nine bucks. Okay, um, let's throw a battery in this guy. Uh, super loud saber, so I think you'll be happy with that. You do have motion controls. Twist off. You lasted longer than I expected, but your final hour has arrived. <laughs> or you could use activation you got that nice shine through you got auxiliary right here and tap it again and turn it off This, uh, you lasted longer than I expected, but your final hour has arrived. The saber is ridiculously loud. We'll throw a blade in this guy. It takes a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. Uh, your blade retention is right here. I'm not going to use it for the sake of this demo. But to change sound fonts, we'll just hit auxiliary. In the dark age, we called this fun. You have terrifying potential. Do they fear you? 
they should. So all the ones that you gave me that had blade styles that came with it, that's the blade style that these have, right? Hopefully you can hear how loud that is. No mercy for opponents weaker than you. Just a simple wonder. Ronin, right? If you want to change colors, what you do is hold down aux and hit power. You hear that sound. Now you can twist the saber. Cycle through anything you want. If you want this red, find a nice red. And we hit power. It makes that sound, right? So now when we turn that on, it's a red blade. Boba. So you got a color changing on your sling. To get to your soundtracks on each sound font, just hold down power for one second and let go. And then do the same thing. Turn off. Corn Horn by Kyberphonic. Now the music track on this is the speeder bike. And then you can turn the blade on while it's playing. Right? Now we're back, I think, to the first one. Some Pantera. What? You lasted longer than I expected, but your final hour has arrived. Just like that. And we'll take the blade out. Yeah, um, everything on this guy is working like it should. Check this out real quick. And then to get the battery out is uh, very easy, right? We'll just take the handle back off. And then from the positive side over here by the speaker, you should be able to pop it out with your finger just like that. And that, sir, is your custom Dragon Ball Z brass flagship. Uh, let me know if you got any questions.
And if not, uh, this guy will go out in the mail to you tomorrow. All right. Thanks.